Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we are talking Mountain Blade Bannerlord lore and we are going to be going over an overview of Sturgia, the northernmost kingdom in this fractured land. One that takes most of its historical inspiration from the northerners of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Or at least, that's what most people think. So let's just dive on in and learn all about these fierce warriors of the frozen north. Bear in mind that I will draw from the game itself various wikis and secondary historical sources for information in this video. The Principality of Sturgia is a kingdom in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. It is ruled by Prince Regenvad and occupies the snowy northernmost mountain territories of the continent of Calradia. So, before talking too much about Sturgia, let's first discuss its leader. Regenvad Gundarovig is the prince of the Principality of Sturgia and the head of the clan Gundarovig. In the year 1077, Regenvad marched with his father, Prince Vadenslav, alongside the Vitanians and Vlandians to confront the Calradic Empire at the Pendraic. In the battle that followed, Vadenslav was killed as the Sturgians fought the main imperial force and overwhelmed their camp. However, Regenvad did not participate in the front line, having been ordered by his father to stay back. Upon receiving word of his father's death, Regenvad claimed the Empire's dragon banner as his father's trophy, and thus his inheritance. But Olek the Old refused, breaking the banner staff and throwing it at his prince. Regenvad was further enraged by what he perceived as cowardice from Kaladog for ambushing the Imperials instead of fighting them directly. The official game description of Regenvad is as follows. The current Grand Prince of Sturgia is Regenvad. Harsh and uncompromising, he believes that it is the right of the prince to command the boyars in all things, not just in making war. For the time being, they obey him, not least for his ability to call on the kinsmen of his mother, a Nordic prince with ties to the fearsome Skoldabroda mercenary company. The principality's history began when Nordic traders and adventurers migrated from the northeast territories seeking land and wealth and eventually formed diplomatic and marriage alliances with the native tribes of the Sturgian region, merging the two cultures into something new, with a violent, warlike, but also mercantile mentality. Most comparable to the Nords from Mountain Blade Warband, Sturgia holds the north of Calradia. The Sturgians are based on medieval Slavic communities from the regions of Belarus and Ukraine, with leaders inspired by the likes of Vladimir the Great. The Sturgians are hard people from harsh lands that are all too familiar with the ways of war. They specialize in disciplined infantry and close quarter combat, utilizing a shield wall. For the trading man, venturing into Sturgian lands will net you wild honey, bog iron, and fur. Sturgia fits the player who wants to slash and burn. The player who wants to raid towns with a two-handed war axe under a raven banner, with ice clinging to their beard. The clans in the Sturgian faction include the Olgovings, the Gundarovings, the Vagarovings, the Ormedovings, the Vezhovings, the Togarovings, the Iziarovings, and the Ubrovings. Some of the Sturgian minor factions we've seen include the Skolderbroda, a mercenary group, and the Sons of the Forest, a slash and burn nomadic tribe, and also the Lake Rats, who live by the Shamir of the Lake Rats, where they lure ships onto shoals with false lighthouses and beacons. As far as in-game troops go, heavily armored infantry bearing thick shields to form a shield wall is the core of the Sturgian military effort, although cavalry and archer units are also employed prominently. When traveling through snowy regions on the overworld map, Sturgians move 10% less slowly than other factions. Starting territories for Sturgia are as follows. They have seven towns, Balgard, Omor, Revil, Sibir, Tial, Varcheg, and Varnovapol. They also control eight castles. Mazadan Castle, Kranirog Castle, Nivyansk Castle, Olv Castle, Takor Castle, Uruk-Skala Castle, Ostakol Castle, and Vladiv Castle. They also control 32 villages, which I won't list, but trust me, they are there. The official in-game description of the Sturgians goes as follows. The confederation of small kingdoms that is now the Principality of Sturgia came into being only a century ago. As boom towns sprung up along the great rivers of the north, the local tribal leaders forged marriage pacts with the Nords and other adventurers, hiring their swords to subdue their neighbors. Under pressure from the empire, they elected a prince to lead them in war, and eventually the princes became a hereditary office. 
But the idea of a monarchy has never sat easily with the independence-minded boyars, and the potential for rebellion always lurks under the surface of Sturgeon politics. In respect to their land and culture, we know about as much as any faction. The Sturgeon forests are forbidding and cold, but great wealth lies within. Wild honey can be found, and bog iron, but the real prize has always been fur. For centuries, brave traders ventured there to buy the pelts of fox, rabbit, and ermine from the tribes of the woods. As the empire expanded eastward, that trickle of traders became a flood. Great towns sprung up on the rivers. Fortune seekers came from the coast, but uh, from the steppes, and most of all from the Nordlands. Tribal elders made alliances with the newcomers, sealed by wedding vows, and with their share of the trading profits, hired mercenaries to subdue other tribes. Sturgia became a collection of principalities, then a kingdom, and great powerhouse of the north. 200 years later, in Mountain Blade Warband, the Sturgian Empire has lost much of its eastern lands to the Kuzate Khanate, but also has taken a significant portion of Landian and Batanian territory. The remaining Sturgian lands experienced a cultural split, with the Nords living in the west and the Vagirs in the east. Although one can see Sturgian influence in both the Vagirs and the Nords, most consider the Nords to be the true descendants of the Sturgians. According to the Nord hero, Metheld, Nord people come from a place called Nordland, although the game's description of the custom battle character Sver claims that Nords originally came from a land known as Jumni. Nordland is said to be far north of Calradia, over the sea, and is also the home of the Sea Raiders. Mateld says the Nords were invited by the Calradic Empire to crew their galleys, and were given land on the coast as payment for this service. After the Empire fell, however, a Nord leader named Bundig Harrybreex landed in Calradia to claim a supposed Nord birthright of the whole continent. Mattel makes note that this was a fabrication by the Skulls, and qualifies it by noting the Nords need no excuse to go to war. Gundig Harrybreex would be killed attempting to attack the Rock of Riveceg, but Nords still come to Calradia under the idea of claiming Calradia by force. So, just as a little roundup, let's go over some quick facts about the Sturgeons to really hammer this faction home. The Sturgeons are primarily based on the Kievan Rus, a people in medieval Eastern Europe consisting of Slavic peoples and some Varingians, who were Norse and mixed Norse Slavic traders, warriors, and adventurers. It was a loose federation of city-states, most of whom were located in the area of modern Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine. They occupy the eastern portion of what will become the lands of the Nords. The Nords themselves originally came from Nordland, not Calradia. Due to this fact, Sturgia acts partially as a placeholder for the Nords. They could also be the ancestors of the Kingdom of the Vagirs due to their cultural appearance, though they lack the Vagirs' excellent archers. They have excellent heavy infantry using the shield wall formation. The Sturgians are separate from the Nords, with the Nords listed as another culture within the Bannerlord Encyclopedia. So that's our total lore roundup for the Kingdom, or more accurately, the Principality of Sturgia in Mountain Blade Bannerlord. As you should now know, they are not Vikings, but draw inspiration from the Kievan Rus, who ironically were also mistaken for Vikings many times throughout history. But that is an interesting topic for another day. I now invite you to pop down to the comments section and add anything that you think I may have missed, even if it is just a little detail somewhere. I hope you've gotten what you came here for, but in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.